Hello guys, so happy Sunday to you. It's about Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Chooks, and you're on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today not the first time we really see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world. So for now, we'll start with today's news. As we start the show, the screen just white. I don't know what's happening, but I just make a refresh them. And now here we are. All right, so our major news of the day or the first news of the night, 9 be the information why it gets. Say UEFA don't ban Bayern Munich fans from the Champions League first time where they go play for Arsenal. Now, the question becomes, is this going to be an advantage for Arsenal? Gets, or maybe, you know, go matter. Personally, I feel this is going to be an advantage. Imagine playing at the Emirates Stadium against Bayern Munich without Bayern Munich fans. Only Arsenal fans did for the entire Emirates Stadium, the 60,000 capacity. Only Arsenal. We don't hear any fan of Bayern. Bim! We don't hear anything. How do you think that will demoralize the Bayern Munich fans? Now, the question, first of all, and I say, what's it happen? Why then ban Bayern? Why then give them that punishment? Now, for the round, for the match they played before this round of eight, I think Bayern played Lazio. So, kind of, yes, say for the away match for Lazio, Bayern fans were very, very irresponsible. The Bayern fans, they throw flare, they throw flare inside the stadium. So, for that reason, you have to vex for them, say they could have endangered people's lives. In fact, now we're going to say, even for the match against Copenhagen, where Bayern also played. Say Bayern fans also did the same thing there. They fined Bayern 40,000. Yes. Now they don't repeat the same thing again. So come, let's they don't learn from their own lessons. Therefore, they need to give them a severe punishment. So now the punishment is that they will miss the match against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Many, many back and Bayern fans. I don't talk say you know will make sense. But it is what it is. We'll see whether Arsenal will actually capitalize on that punishment. Because when we go to play at the Alliance Arena, you get in the reverse fixture. That place, I think, is about 80 something thousand cap, uh, capacity stadium. Arsenal going for the top, 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 top part of the stadium. The, the players may not be even the Arsenal fans' voice for that stadium. So we'll do the job here. Beating this up like two or three zero. So that by the time we we'll return to the Alliance Arena, yes, we'll let them know why we are one of the best away teams in world football. So away from that, so Thierry Henry, remember, he's the France under 21 coach. So Henry, the reason say for the Olympics, we go hold some time after the season ends. Saying the reason say England invites William Saliba because for the Olympic level, if he invites under 23, up to three of them. So and Henry now, the president of the uh, French Federation. Don't tell Henry, say any player you want, call him, invite him. But the thing is, uh, FIFA, no really, like, then how will I put this now? They don't recognize this Olympic competition that much. So clubs have, like, power on who lives and who does not live. Because when you look at Dream Madrid, Dream Madrid don't write to the French Federation, say, Kamavenga, Olian Chouameni, Felan Mendy, these players are untouchable. Don't invite them, they will not be joining you. Arsenal, on the other hand, from the reports what they get, say Arsenal would deny the request for Henry to collect Saliba to go and play World Cup so that they would be in a more good position to actually win the competition. And what he will even make Arsenal even reject the request in the first place is the fact that if they give them Saliba and maybe France can't qualify for the final, it will affect Arsenal's beginning of the 2024-2025 season because season will not start and the Olympics will still day on, which means Saliba no go play for Arsenal in the beginning of the season. For that reason, Arsenal no go give them the permission. Like Real Madrid don't say, 
these are our three players so they within the age brackets but no near there don't go there so that's the bone of contention so we'll just watch how it they go now thomas tuchel will be by munich coach on the other hand instead of the talk say this draw wouldn't give them arsenal say uh say facing arsenal actually offers a, the most difficult road to the final yes see and one of the reasons is that arsenal are a team that scores many many goals from different players. They don't really get one individual player will be say we say one goal hold that person and that person no go if he no score the team don't die. Yet they are not like Bayern because sometimes back I remember telling you say switch out the tell in Bayern team made an emulate Arsenal because Arsenal are a side that they have so many goals. In fact, this is an Afi talk. See maybe not only uh, Raya never score. Maybe Inter will get penalty. The core I mean comes common this in every team every member of our first level. Nine on bossness, so it is what it is. Now Martin Keown will be one of the Arsenal legends. Instead of one, the one Arsenal defenders of Harry Kane. So by the time we will meet this Bayern Munich for the final, Harry Kane loves to play against Arsenal. He gets anytime we meet, and they like to score against us. So for that reason, we need to be very, very careful because you'll be coming to North London. I think that will be like maybe the first time when they come North London ever since we make a move. So that way, not be seen that the first time when they come back to England. Remember the Champions League groups they played against Manchester United. So these are some of the things we are looking at. So we'll just see how we go be at the end of the day. But I don't say we no go underrate Bayern Munich because Bayern Munich gets very very good players. We feel hot us. We feel lose guard. So now Jamie O'Hara, come from I talk for who go win the league title. So he will be rooting for the likes of Arsenal or Liverpool to actually win it and not manchester city because when you look at it you go see say <clears throat> as they now uh, in the express city to actually win the fa cup and champions league then arsenal or liverpool go win the league title so see now with the way we aim they see um, unless i forget matthew they even they talk about uh, hurricanes uh pursuits of glory for that germany you know say uh, Lewandowski set one record for germany when he scored 41 goals in a season now so far and the don't score 37 goals this season in all competitions. So you know, like maybe four goals shy of superseded or matching the record set by Lewandowski, then five goals shy of eclipsing that record. Okay, so now we see him once he sets by himself, but no yawa get now. When we meet, even as of yesterday, I am by money play dams that wouldn't beat them. I think five two. Hurricane got an injury in that match. I don't know a freak injury. Let's say go jam the bar. I don't know what's happened. The come out. So we never really know where I go even they fit for so the match we will play. Like, what does the watch shot? So that's what I say. Make I let you know. Now, away from that, self, so Gerard Pique, when he talks, he would like to see Mikel Ateta for the camp new. By the time we uh, we see them define new coach now. So he would like me to ginger Ateta for sure. But let's see if Ateta will accept their own offer yeah, because they really, really one thing now another report we are going to get now the fact say Arsenal scouts they recommend benjamin sesco say make Arsenal sign up like i read the entirety of the reports by give me sports say the scouts say they really like benjamin sesco is a 20 year old he's very very tall he's very fast very tricky and just he has an eye for goal i know say for the club winning day luis openda then be like the main striker he's like the subordinate subordinate striker like a cover but for the champions league they actually used him and open that at the same time when they play against uh, Real Madrid, they, they outclass and outplay Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu at the end of the day, they could not win. That is why they get confident say, this Real Madrid, Man City will live there like a pot of soup. Like, Real Madrid are not that spectacular. So, and they expect Arsenal, all things being equal, to actually beat Bayern because for this match, we will play against Bayern. I see us having a field day because Bayern are not FC Porto that come and play 10 men behind the ball or play uh, the dark arts or play negative football. Bayern are teams they like to attack their opponents. And when that happens, we are going to be exploiting a lot of all these spaces. So it is what it is. So the biggest news of the day, I mean, the fact that UEFA don't ban Bayern Munich fans from the Champions League tie where they will play for Arsenal. The first leg, there will be no Bayern Munich fan in that match at the Emirates Stadium. It will be all Arsenal. Will that be a plus for us? Are we going to take advantage of that situation? Seeing that only Arsenal fans go there for the stadium, we will see whether that one will really help us. When you watch the match where Bayern play against Lazio, Lazio, I think Lazio beat them in the first leg. Then the reverse feature, the Allianz Arena. Then Bayern can take turns 
around. But for the Emirates, I just pray more we knock this uh, Bayern Munich team at the Emirates. So my dear Arsenal lovers, I think this is a fine place for us to call the show and end. So it's like coming away in the evening as usual. Again, Martin, so tuning in. Happy Sunday. All right, guys. Um.